The writing process always begins with the messy draft, where creativity, thoughts, ideas take priority over mechanics, spelling, punctuation. Once the messy draft has been written, give it a day or two to rest and come back to it with fresh eyes. Next, focus on the characters. What details can you flesh out? Also, focus on the setting. What sensory details and what imagery can you bring to the front? Once you have fleshed out the character and setting details, it is time to look at structure. We're going to use Freytalk's Pyramid, a very basic dramatic structure, to revise the structure of our messy draft. Character and conflict are the foundations of great storytelling. Conflict directly impacts the climax. There are five main types of conflict. Person versus self, person versus person, person versus society, person versus nature, and person versus supernatural. The conflict we will prioritize is the internal conflict, or person versus self. Smart narratives make the main characters face themselves and their choices and actions in some way so to create change in the character's outlook or states of being. The external conflicts, person versus person, society, nature, and supernatural work in tandem with the internal conflict so to create a multi-layered context and subtext within the narrative. The plot's climax or turning point is the moment of greatest emotional intensity. The climax is also the moment when the outcome of the plot and the fate of the characters are decided. Exposition introduces the characters, their situations, and usually a time and place, giving us all the basic background information we need to understand what is to come. Rising action begins with an inciting incident or destabilizing event, that is, some action that destabilizes the initial situation and incites open conflict. The falling action brings a release of emotional tension, catharsis, and moves us toward the resolution of the conflicts. Just as a plot begins with a situation that is later destabilized, so its conclusion presents us with a new and at least somewhat stable situation, one that gives a sense of closure because the conflicts have been resolved, if only temporarily, and not necessarily in the way we or the characters had expected. The resonance, or denouement, is how the reader transcends the narrative. In the Norton Introduction to Literature, Mays does not like the denouement. Denouements were once imposed upon the reader by the narrator. One reason many contemporary authors like the denouement is that in contemporary literature, the denouement has shifted from the narrator imposing meaning to the reader developing meaning for self. Now that you have your narrative written, revise, revise, revise. Don't be afraid to rewrite an entire scene. Don't be afraid to rewrite your opening or your conclusion. Writing is an act of discovery. It is how we process the world around us. Let your writing be a place of discovery for you.